Hi everyone, this is Dr. Susan Thompson. This is a bonus tapping. Um, I've had a request for um, doing some tapping on barking dogs and just dogs in general. So I'm a dog lover. I have a couple and I also understand that um, they can be a little scary. And if you've had other experiences of dogs, um, the first thing to do is to tune in to the um, exper one experience, one at a time, and what might have happened. So I'll make this as, um, as general and specific as possible. So, are you ready? Not on the outside of the hand. Um, even though I have this fear of dogs, a part of me remembers where it came from. It's okay to feel how I feel. Even though a part of me has this fear of dogs, it's, it's okay to feel how I feel. Even though a part of me is scared of dogs, I don't want to be, but there it is. I accept myself even through this. Top of the head. This fear of dogs, they bark. Eyebrow, of course I have this fear of dogs. I never know what they're gonna do. Sigh of the eye. This fear of dogs, I'm afraid of what they could do. Under the eye. This fear of dogs. Of course I have this fear. Under the nose. This fear of dogs. It's trying to keep me safe. Above the chin. This fear of dogs. It just scares me when they bark. Collarburn. This fear of dogs. Their barking hurts my ears. Hurts my body. Under the arm. This fear of dogs. I acknowledge that I have it. Top of the head. There's probably good reasons for me to have this fear of dogs. Eyebrow, this fear of dogs. Side of the eye, maybe it's their barking. Under the eye, maybe it's because they'll jump on me. I don't like that. Under the nose. They seem kind of unpredictable. Above the chin. This fear of dogs. Collarbone. This fear of dogs. Under the arm. I acknowledge that I have this fear of dogs. And maybe that's okay. So just take a deep breath. And just check in and notice. Go ahead and do another round or two and make it even more specific. All right, until next time.